New at 6, if you want to get between the Grove Shopping Center and the Farmer's Market, you can just hop on a trolley. And now a developer wants to extend the line to other L.A. attractions, but as that what his news reporter Robert Elgin tells us, not everyone likes the idea. It makes the trip from the Grove to the Farmer's Market in less than six minutes. This trolley at the Grove isn't really meant to substitute for mass transit, but what if it was expanded to include other area attractions? It would reduce traffic, more pedestrian friendly, it would support businesses more, it would encourage new businesses to move in the area. Rick Caruso is the billionaire developer behind the Grove, and he's talking about extending the trolley line that runs through his shopping center into other locations, including the Beverly Center, or the L.A. County Museum of Art. I think there's just so many dynamics that work in favor of it, and I am so excited I'm behind it. I'm going to do everything I can to make it happen. Caruso's proposal would mean building a rail line from the Grove down La Cienega, then to Wilshire. Caruso says he's willing to help pay for the millions of dollars it would cost to construct the trolley line. It's something which will, you know, help public transport around here and... You know, it's just so congested with cars and you've got no other way of getting around it unless you walk, but no one walks in L.A., right? And while using a trolley system like this one to help solve some of L.A.'s traffic woes is a popular idea with some, some homeowners in the affected area are very much against the idea. Let's, let's get real, you know. Dick Platkin is a former city planner who's now a member of the Beverly Wilshire Homeowners Association. We like the idea that Mr. Caruso wants to improve transit, but we think that any transit improvements in this area need to uh, address the practical realities of so much congestion. The city of L.A. says it would need to study the proposal, and many say that enhanced bus service would be a far cheaper way to address traffic concerns. Reporting from the Fairfax District, Robert Olguin, ABC7 Eyewitness News.